I'm at my dacha and you've already seen this place and let me take you on a tour it's uh, what call what they call a collective garden so there's plenty of this garden lots really small standing side by side and we'll take a walk on this path that takes us to the pond so let's go beautiful flowers everything good my aunt is here my uncle's here let's say hi Сейчас что поливаем? Кабачки. Over there, right up there. Okay. Pumpkin. It's a big pumpkin. Small pumpkins. These apples are delicious. Wow, these are plums. Did you guys know you can grow plums in Siberia? Surprise, surprise. There's another one. Looks like a mango. Okay, of course, the red currant. Love it. Do you guys want to see a huge raspberry? Okay, so this is my finger, right? So it's bigger than my finger. Эти яблоки, они вообще вкусные. Это новая яблонька, хорошая. Да, сочные, сладкие. Красные. Do you guys want to see a carrot? Let me pick the biggest one, the biggest one. Okay. It's pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> but I've seen bigger ones, so... Тетя Тома, ну mm -hmm. что, у нас летний денек, чем будем кушать? Yeah. А сегодня мы будем кушать окрошку. Так. Это, я думаю, чисто русская. Я сомневаюсь, что кто-то ест, кроме русских, окрошку. Привет, как она ребята. готовится. Да, Леш, здрасте, здрасте. Как она готовится? Вот посмотрите, как она выглядит. Так. А как она готовится? Сейчас я вам расскажу. Что в нее входит? Что а, там да, нарезано? Ингредиенты, которые входят да. в окрошку. Нужно сварить картошечку, отварить яйца. Все это нужно почистить, мелконько порезать. Добавить колбаски или мясо, в зависимости, что вы любите. А, добавить нас... свежего огурч... огурчика ага. и больше-больше зелени. То есть лучок, укропчик и, пожалуйста, а заправить вы ее можете классом, можете заправить таном, да. можете ее со сметанкой, можете с майонезом, можете добавить горчицы и получится очень вкусный летний суп. То есть у нас вот такая чаша стоит для всех, да. а каждый уже решает, чем да, ее заправить. Да, чем ее заправить и сколько себе положить. Тетя Тома, обещаю? чем вы ее любите заправлять? Я люблю квасом. Так. Квасом обязательно добавляю горчицы. Горчицы обязательно? Да, да. Ну или сметанку, или майонез. Вика, всем интересно, чем ты заправляешь окрошку? Квасом, наверное. Квасом? Тоже квасом. Дядя Леша? Квас, сметана. Квас, сметана. Слова, ты? А мне тан нравится и, и квас, и мне все нравится. Вообще да, комбинация такая, да. что ее не испортить. Добавляем горчицу. Горчиц. Сколько я сейчас положу, Викульки добавляю. Так, Вика, горчицу. любишь горчицу? Любит. Да. Слава. Ты томну и мне надо добавить Давай. тоже. И Славе добавляем горчицу. Так, все. а теперь надо залить ее. Так, О, наливаем, получается классно. О. Если учесть, что у нас сегодня 30 градусов, то получается классный летний суп. Да. Под названием окрошка. Все, пойдем. Покажи, что ешь. Белая смородина? Угу. Сюда. Что ты делаешь? Вот Чтобы видно было. Спасибо. Вика, скажи тебе, какая больше нравится? Черная, красная Черная. или белая? М? Черная. А мне белая. Почему черная? Кислая? Не знаю, вкусно. Белая, кстати, самая сладкая. Да, покажи мне, она растет. Здесь крутой. О, клево. Вау, красиво. Обалденно. Это, это мой кустик. Нет, это уже мой. Вика, давай, налей мне чайка. Да. Пожалуйста. Травяного. О, какой чай. Это чай из э, листьев 
и сада. Подожди. Мята, мелиса, вишня, смородина, малина, облепиха. А на десерт у нас пряники. О, а пряники, знаешь, какие вкусные. Вау, прям. Огромные. Вкусные. Прям по-русски у нас сегодня да, все, да? Да, да, пряники. Огромные вкусные. пряники. Попробуй, мягкие, Тульские пряники и белорусские. Кушаем на Урале. Нет, это не белорусские. Я не в том Окей, это один гринхаус для томатов. Видишь? Я буду есть этот. Так вкусно. Top security gate. So when I was younger, I used to spend a lot of summers living in this house. Look how beautiful some gardens are. Now look, those sunflowers are pretty tall. Let me help you. Wow. wow. Incredible. You want to do it all in one take? Mm -hmm. Красивые подсолнухи. Высокие очень. Many, many more of them. You guys love sunflower seeds? Solid build uh, log house. Let's take a look. Привет, привет. Привет. Мы вон сад снимаем. Нас не на меня не надо. Так я, все говорят. Я сегодня некрасивая. А, ну так ладно. Надо помахать только, главное. А, потом, а все, пошли на, на пруд, пошли мы, короче. Oh, the sun is so bright. So walking on these small rocks would be like a massage therapy for your feet. Did your, did your parents have a summer garden? A dacha? Uh, no, because we live in pretty small village and it almost like dacha. no need to get out uh, yeah. uh, like uh, out of your small town because it's already small yeah we have big agarod <laughs> garden <laughs> yes <gasps> wow that's a tall apple tree it's beautiful look at this you know some of the things we love to do is like play table games cards and uh, you know playing cards and uh, go fishing I was never good at fishing, never been good at fishing, but we still did it. And of course, swimming. We would swim three times a day. Early in the morning, during the day, and then late at night. So that's what we did during the summer. Like, my, my parents would send me off to this dacha to stay with my grandparents, and then and, uh, they would go somewhere else, mine, you know, do their own thing. As we grew older, we would do some bad stuff. <laughs> I remember the one time this guy said, Let's, you know, he was up to no good. He said, let's go do some criminal activity. There's some garages out there by the railroad. We're gonna break into one of the garages and we're gonna steal the windshield of a car. And we're like, yeah, that sounds exciting. Let's go do it. And I was standing, I was on the lookout and I was supposed to scream a certain phrase. I think it was Vera, if I see somebody. And you know, it was late at night. There's like the, the, rail, ra the railroad tracks. And then I saw some men walking towards me and I was like Vera and we ran we sprinted as fast as we could to get away from the place and I don't think we did anything worse than that I don't think it took the key Вы на пляж? Я может быть не взял ключи. Привет. Like they say, ladies first. It's pretty close to the, to the city. Of course. If you look close enough, one of those buildings is where my sister lives, Vika. So it's on the other bank of this pond. And uh, yeah. Like the center of the city is down that way. This place, uh, the pond, it's, um, they say it's polluted, but if you look at the water, it's pretty clear, it's okay. But because we have uh, so many factories around this area, they say it's not recommended to be swimming here. But, you know, I've been doing it all my life and I'm gonna do it again. I guess if you're not swallowing the water, you're gonna be fine. And, and your father told that uh, 
in his childhood there were crawfish Rikin. crawfish yeah there were it, the, the place was so pristine that there were crawfish and they could, i think they were catching them with their hands and then they would boil in them they would boil them and uh, this place is good for fishing it's a popular place for fishing there's also even uh, like a, a separate island in the middle right there in the middle so if you have a boat you can go to the island and fish but again the fish is not recommended to be consumed so you can only do it like for for fun which is okay That was good. The water is warm. It's nice. Oh, you can just lean. You can't catch it. You're too small for that, Mushta. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. Да все страшно, страшно не будет. Тихо. Гол. Я выиграл, Вика проиграл. Пас. Плохой пас. Это из-за плохого паса. Ну. Not even close. Вот так надо сказать. Иди забивай. Давай, последний раз. Последний шанс. Все. Игра закончена. So yesterday we saw a bunch of kittens right over here. And let's see if they're still there. We can play with them. Vika, which one you like? The gray one? Mm -hmm. They're all gray. <laughs> That's a Labanda. Mm -hmm. mm Тянешься, вон до того я бы. Да. Как ты думаешь, что собирают? Просто палкой, трясут? палкой сбивают. Просто трясут? А палкой? Да. Ну это, это ты так делаешь. While dachas or summer homes have been around for several centuries in Russia, in the Russian Empire they were only something that the rich could afford. In the Soviet days the dachas became ubiquitous, and they've lost the luxury part and became first of all a place for gardening, growing potatoes, strawberries, other vegetables and fruits, or relaxing with your family on weekends in the summer. The concept of the so-called collective gardens appeared in the Russian city since the mid-1930s. Our dacha is sitting on a really small piece of land just about 420 square meters or about 4,500 square feet. Remember one of the Soviet slogans said don't get too far ahead and don't lag behind. So your house was supposed to be just like everybody else's. You couldn't build higher more than two stories. By the late 1980s most of those restrictions were lifted and new dachas were grown like mushrooms. Normally dachas don't have security and during off season some bad people can break into your house stealing some valuables. And by valuables I mean dishes, tools or clothing. And it's mostly homeless people and troubled kids that can do that. Luckily this never happened to us. Although one time we had someone steal all of our gooseberries. 
It took a while for us to figure it out because my grandma thought it was my aunt who collected all the berries and my aunt thought it was the grandma. Just imagine how someone was sitting there under a gooseberry bush picking berry after berry and then they were gonna sell it for, I don't know, ten dollars? Was it worth it? My grandparents bought this dacha in the late 1980s. Before that, they had one in a place called Rishoti, about 30 kilometers outside of the city. I remember we used to get there by a suburban train, known in Russia as Elektrichka. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and were able to feel some of the summer vibes from Russia. Alright, have a good day guys, bye.